My mindset, you know, I'm a guy that likes pressure. Anytime there's pressure in any situation, I'm a guy that I want the ball in my hands. I, I like to step up to the platform. You know, I don't back down. I like to fire. Any situation, I'm ready. We, we, we're down 10 with, with two minutes to go, and we can still win that game. I feel like if the ball in my hands, I can win it. I'm a, I'm a great team guy, but, you know, even my teammates, when, when the game is online, they know. You know, I like the ball in my hands. I feel like I can win a game and take us home with the help of them as well. But I feel like, you know, I like that pressure. I'm at Southeastern, back home, uh, about to get a workout in with Coach Bars. I've been training with Coach Bars since high school. Pretty much, you know, helped me with my game a lot, established a lot of things that I didn't have. And through the years, he just helped me a lot. I got a lot of better. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Definitely y'all should see it by this year coming up. And uh, yeah, just about to get some work in. For Bacon, it's all about reps, a dynamic score. So we just want to put him in situations where he's just able to knock down shots, especially on the move. He's going to be on the move a lot this year at Florida State, talking to the coaches. They really want him to be able to catch that ball and shoot it with a lot of confidence. Uh, things off the move, being creative in the workout as far as getting to the rim. Uh, but today really was just getting back in the gym and getting shots. And we in the gym so much that sometimes it's just good to come in there with no agenda and just work out and get shots up. Back pedal, back pedal. Play, play, play. For the draft, I know a lot of people want to know that answer, but not going in was my decision. Um, I felt like I could have got drafted in my own belief. I know some people felt like I could have too. Some people felt like I couldn't, but I felt like I could have got drafted. I chose to come back to get better, mature, and you know, to work on my shot. All summer I've been working on my shot. It's just defined a lot more, you know, sticking my follow through a lot more, holding it up a lot more, shooting straight up. It's just really for me to come back, work on my shot, and get better as a player. Hey. I want to go in the NBA establishing a defined player. Like, I want to go in the NBA and play right away, not go in the NBA, you know, sit down and waste time. So I, I felt like I'd come back another year, I would, you know, get a lot better and work on a lot of things that I need help with. Good. Good hop. What makes Dwayne Bacon special? Hard work. Get up, get up! Hey, that's not no dunk. No, it's a dunk. Who? You just ain't think I was gonna dunk it like that. Hey! Two more, two more, two more. Hey! Hey! Last one. Good. Let's go back out there. 20 more. Then we got five dunks and we got 20 more. Here we go. Second half shooting. Second half shooting. One. Second half shooting. Be a pro. Be a pro. Two. Three. Right there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Eighteen. Nineteen. 
Come on. Three, two, one. Boom, we're out. I hit the game with a floater. That was a, you know, a crazy moment for me. Just being a freshman, hitting a shot like that was huge for me. Um, my coaches believed in me. For them to believe in me, it just, you know, it made me a much a happy player and a teammate because they chose me to, you know, take that a shot that was that was really huge at the moment. What is it gonna look like if you don't make it? You don't get drafted. What does it look like? What's life look like? Didn't even feel sick just thinking about that. What will happen right now if there was NBA scout in that gym down there just now? If I would have knew for the season, you gonna know, bro. I'm yeah, just throwing right. out there. Yeah. Because I seen you great. Yeah. And I'm glad I got you today. What's important for Dwayne to watch the film is he, for him, he's a, he's a cerebral guy. It's easier for him to see it visually than me explain it. For him to see that extra dribble getting to the rim, that extra dribble getting to and one. When you can watch a hundred clips of him being right there scoring, he averaged about 17 points a game, but he missed a lot of those gimmies because he's taken off so far from the rim. When he's so strong, you create that contact. When you can show him a hundred clips, it just sinks in a lot better. And so I think for Dwayne to see that, and that's what pros do. If, if your trainer's not showing you film, then I don't think your trainer's doing a good job. And that's one of the reasons we watch film. <laughs> <laughs> I, do you see a theme here? The last three minutes of the game, when it's when you got no choice but to go at the rim, what you do? Gotta have that. Gotta have that mindset from the start. God, that's a great play. I think one of the things that Dwayne, you know, said when he came back is he wanted to be a leader for his team. And he's done that this summer. He's been a leader in the locker room, been a leader in the workouts, talking to the coaching staff. The on the court stuff, the maturity is going to show from that first game. Uh, being a leader uh, in the workouts, being a leader in the classroom. You saw that being all academic in his last semester. But then he's just got to score. I mean, he's going to be one of the targets in the ACC. He's one of the best players in the country. And so every single night he steps on the court, he's going to, he's going to see a lot of different coverages. For Florida State to win, Dwayne Bacon is going to have to score. And me coming back a year uh, just gave me a lot of uh, opportunity, you know, to mature as an adult and as a, you know, a second year player. I'm trying to come back and be the leader of the team and lead these guys the right way. I feel like we got a special team this year. We can do some good things. It's definitely a faster game. It changes a lot because there's a lot of things you can't do. If you're a player that can create for yourself, then, you, I mean, you're, you're kind of good. But if you can't, you got to work on that coming into college level because there's going to be the times where those shot clocks run down and you got to be able to create a shot for yourself or another teammate. And if you have the skill, you have the skill, you're ready. Proud of the development he's made this summer. Maturity-wise, his body language, his focus. This is uh, not going to be a breakout year. It's going to be a statement year. I think the world knows about Dwayne Bacon, but they're going to see the leadership, the brilliance of how he gets things done on and off the court. And then come June, we all going to be excited. Bacon in three words. Exciting. Different. Different. <laughs> a hustler. A hustler. A hustler. All the fun away. If you were a uh, hustler, I'm a hustler. They know you're a hustler. Hey, if you had to coach against Dwayne, how would you guard? 
How would I guard him? See, he liked the two three because he want to break the two three and attack the creases. So we gonna we gonna we gonna box him one. Box him one. Box one. Get him frustrated. Box one. <laughs> box one the whole game. The whole game we box him one. See, that's why they want to play us in the, in the <laughs> ACC for ten times. Hey, we, yeah. when, when y'all was growing up, yeah. hey, when y'all was growing up and y'all was playing together, when did you realize how how great he was gonna be? Hey, you. I mean, it was really just every day. Cause it's like. You know, I'm out there, he out there, and you just watching each other, you see like, oh, this is gonna be something like special. special. Yeah, and we're just so young, and like everybody else seen it too. So like, well, I'm, but you know, I got to see it up close personal because like, it started young, you know. You know, first trying to get into the kid to play there, and like, we didn't even, like, he didn't even really want to show us no love and stuff until we had to work it, and finally showed our way how, you know, how we was getting and how we could be, be something. But I knew it early, man. I knew we had it early. The city know what the city mean to me, so. So you guys is the next one since T-Mac? Angry dang. I mean, everybody trying to say, bro, ain't got no motive. I think it's it's much more to it than just a motive, like. Play with, like, I don't know. It's just, it's hard to explain. It's, just, it's a different people, kind of greedy. I think some people, you, you know what people say about the no motor is just like they say about Brandon Roy. Because he played the game at his own speed. Dude was so skilled, right? He was so skilled, so talented, that people say, oh, he don't play hard, he don't play hard. Yeah. But when you look at that stat sheet, well, <laughs> and you see the rebound, if you're gonna get eight, nine rebounds a game, you play hard. I don't know, when you make something look so easy, like, bro, make it look easy, somebody just be like, oh, he don't, he don't do this, he don't do that. But most of the time, just be the haters. So. If y'all saying haters. that, y'all just hate. <laughs> That second year, we sold out like almost every game at home, went 18 and 0, so yeah, it was amazing, man. Do you have any uh, highlights from that season? Yeah, I mean, I got a lot. Talking to Terrence right before I went in, and he was like, I bet you don't shoot from the black line. I hope see why Coach Ham don't see this, or Coach Jones, or Gates. But I, he was like, I bet you don't shoot from the, from the black line. And I was like, all right, bet. And I, I went in and shot from the back line, and I made it. Um, I, it was a couple member moment. The dunk from Florida Gulf Coast, everybody loved that. I love it down there in Tallahassee. I wanted to be a part of something, you know, that I could change the culture and learn how to be a man. Um, taking responsibility, they taught me a lot. You know, the grind. If you grind and do whatever it takes, then the sky's the limit for you. To the OV. Don't get too close. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Fake it till you make it. You know, I had to make a good bit boy decision. We really came down to the wire. Like a, you feel me? Like a finals game. Yeah. Boom, boom. I had the Warriors and I had the Cavs. Who you with? I went with the Cavs. <laughs> I went with the Cavs. I'm talking about last year finals. So if the Warriors win this year, it's a whole different story. I went with the last year finals. So yeah, you know, I went with the but the Warriors, they ain't too bad, but you know, they just won for me. I felt like those guys were, you know, honest and guys that was for me. You know, every every NBA, you know, team I've talked to, at least one person from a team has said, Rock is a great, you know, agency and Roger is a great guy, which is my agent. I mean, it was just a great decision for me. First thing, first, when I meet Jay-Z, it's a pleasure. Man, working in Cali is amazing. I'm, I'm isolated from my people. But I'm getting my work in. This is my job now, so I got to do what I got to do. Get into the rat, mid range, turn around, Jay, do it all. And I'm just excited, really. Mostly just excited. Not everybody get to live out this dream. Just ready for that night to come, put on that hat, and get rolling. You know, I feel like once I walk into an NBA game, I can play. You know, I can score. My dreams don't stop. I push. I, I know I can score at the highest level, and I'm just ready to showcase my talent. I don't think nobody worked harder than me 
for me from going to unranked all the way to 13 in the final ranking. So I was working. I went to Florida State. Nobody thought I would be nothing at Florida State. I'm just a big guy. I'm proving people wrong. I've been doing it all my life. I know these guys have watched me play plenty of games, and uh, they know how I play. So just being me. Don't try to change up. Just be me and compete, you know, in every situation on the floor, in, in defense and offense. Come on, bro. You want to get on camera? Stop acting like that. <laughs> nah, this is my little brother, Derwin. He try to do everything I do. Even though he's, he's only seven, he try to still do everything I do. But Anything you try to teach him? Yeah, just to play. He like, he be in there with Coach Bars too. Uh, it's a couple times Coach Bars bring him to the gym and work him out, so. He working with Coach Bars too. He trying to get nice, but he, he play baseball, soccer, everything. He, he, he do it all. I got Dwayne in here today and he's got some workouts coming up, so we wanted to get some guys who are high level in the gym with him just to get him ready for what he's got going this week. I like coming back home just to get it in with Coach Bars. Workout was, you know, very competitive. I like competing in any kind of work. Kevin coming over, he works out with Coach Bars too a lot. We just getting some work in, uh, Keon, you know, them guys, and we just got it in. Mix up the finish now, mix up the finish. Boom, 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 boom. Shout, shout. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. Shot, shot, shot. Good. Yeah. Shot. Here we go, back. Here we go, back. Yep, 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 yep. Nice job. I always want to get a dunk on somebody. Here you go. I mean, with Dwayne, everybody knows he's getting ready for that NBA draft. And just right now, he's just going into these NBA workouts. He doesn't really have to prove himself. Everybody knows he can play. He's got to shoot the ball well, show that he's a good kid, show that he has great character. Just wait for the right team to fall in love with him. But this is the best time for Dwayne because he thrives under pressure. If anybody's watched him, whenever the stage is bigger, he plays better. And so every single day, he's just in the lab, putting work in. He was out working out in LA, so NBA workouts on the East Coast this week. So he decided to just come home and get some rest and then get in the gym and get ready. Oh, pop. Pop. <laughs> Good. Hurry, hurry. Good. Way to push yourself, boy. Way to push yourself, bake. Way to push yourself, bake. Good, good. Tap, 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 tap. When Dwayne's in a workout, he's pretty locked in. I know some guys laugh and giggle and joke around with, for Dwayne. Like even this morning, he's like, hey, coach, could you send me what we're doing so I can get my mind ready? And a lot of guys don't really think like that. And I think people don't understand that Dwayne is that way. He's methodical in his approach to the game. He's disciplined in his approach to the game. There's no way you're the type of player he is if you don't have discipline. Uh, water down and we're gonna play some two on two. Good work, fellas. Good work, good work. On the basketball court, his mindset is when I get the ball, I'm gonna kill. Uh, and I think what he's kind of transitioning to, especially at Florida State this year, was learning to play off the ball and working on getting open. But his mindset on the court is just to win. The dude's a winner. He wants to win. I mean, to take Florida State to the NCAA tournament was his goal. One of the main reasons he came back because he set that goal. Every time he steps on the court, he's proven that he's one of the best players out there. It's a big transition, man. Showtime, nobody thought, you know, we would you know, be where we are today. I stayed loyal to Showtime because that's what I wanted to do. I love Coach Diane. I could never switch up. That's what I wanted to do, and it, and it helped me. I don't need to play Nike or Adidas just to be, you know, a top guy in that show. I was just working.
in uh, pitching. Yeah. If they want to play good, I'm good. You're looking good. It feels good. It feels good. Yeah, you got, you got the shot. You got to catch that in. Let it fly. I remember last year, sometimes he would struggle picking and choosing when to take the jump shot because he can get to the rim anytime he wants, but he had a tendency to kind of take bad threes. And with working with Coach CY and, and Coach Hamilton at Florida State, and then over the summer just fine-tuning certain things, he put in a lot of work of just uh, mechanics on his jump shot. And if you saw him this year, you saw he was able to improve his three-point percentage, took better shots inside of 15 feet, which he is probably the best mid-range basketball player in the draft this year as far as getting to his spots. And then we just worked on some ball handling. He used to love the spin move, and he just added some different things, different finishes. But when we work out for Dwayne, it's just efficiency. You know, we're not doing a bunch of crazy drills. It's just simple efficiency because the kid's got an NBA body. He's just got to learn to have an NBA mind. And so that's what we kind of work on. Call it. Oh, you know, I just don't know. <laughs> Beautiful Yoda. Last game was a good competition. First two games on. I mean, it was tough. I got sick, so I was out for a week, but I start workouts Tuesday, and it's just every day it's the same thing over and over. Just the same workouts, same drills. But I mean, Repetition. yeah, doing the same thing is that's how you become perfect at something. Getting bored with the process, if you get bored in what you do, then you ain't really getting better. So you got to enjoy the same stuff over and over. What, what would you say to uh, the 12 year old Dwayne Bacon that's at Simpson Park that's trying to be in the NBA? Like, what would you tell him today, knowing what you know now? Just work. Just work. Yeah. I mean, when I was 12, I ain't really, I was still playing football. Yeah. so. I was in the middle of both. How's it feel to, to make it for Polk County and for Lakeland? How's that feel? I mean, it, it feels good, but it's tough too. I like it being here, but I don't like coming back here. So when I do, I don't really do nothing. The hardest transition from Florida State to preparing for the NBA? That's your job now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> College, you got to go through school, workouts, practice. I mean, they, 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 yeah, they, they know. I mean, Kevin about to go through it, but I mean, they, I'm sure Keon know, like, Thomas study our school. You got to finish classes on the road. Like, Coach once you just, players. yeah, once you enter the draft, it's like, you ain't got no more school. You ain't got no more class. It's just straight basketball. Like, you wake up and you gonna got to get like three workouts in a day, but you need to be isolated. Like, what do you mean by isolated? You need to leave where you from. <laughs> yeah, like you need to, when you pick an agent, you need to, hey, I want to go here. I don't want to be here. Keep your circle small. Yeah, I don't want to be here. As soon as you enter, that's when everybody, Come you, got, you, huh? you got cousins that you never heard of. <laughs> you got friends that you ain't, you never knew. You got to keep to yourself though, so you're good at. Yeah, but I mean. small, they still coming at you. It's the, Change your number Change twice, your number like twice. But. Um, gonna need two phones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you gonna need two phones. It's just too much for one. And I mean, 
You enjoying the journey though? Yeah, I like it. Enjoying it? I like it.